Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We're gonna be going over how to make a texture in Octane Render that has a lot of smudges and scratches on it. So we just released Blemish Pro, which has a hundred different uh, grunge maps that you can use in any render engine of your choice. And I'm just gonna show you how to do that in Octane today. All right, so once we pick out a map, we can just drag it into our Octane node editor. And let's pick another one. Maybe we'll do something with scratches. And it's kind of hard to see what these are, but these are all 8K and they are 16 bits. So there's a ton of information in these maps and I'm gonna show you how to use them. All right, so we have our two texture maps and let's start with the first one and let's pipe this into our diffuse and I like to do that so that we can see what's going on. Now these are 8K, so they're pretty large. So we're gonna to wanna to scale this down. So what we can do is go to our texture and under projection, let's click that button and we have a projection node now and let's change the texture projection to box. And then if we go down to our scale, we can scale it down to maybe 0.2. And maybe we can do 0.05, something like that. And another thing we can do to really dial this in and crush it is add a gradient. So I typed in gradient and we can drag this one and drop it right on top of our node line here. And uh, let's go to our gradient and just crush it in here. And the thing about a roughness channel is you wanna really crush these uh, so that it shows up a little bit more obviously. It's pretty obvious in the diffuse, but if we put this into the roughness, it's gonna be a lot more, more subtle here. All right, so already you can see the power of these maps and how we already have these really nice blemishes and uh, it's looking really nice. So if we want to dial this back, you can play with the gradient or you can go into your actual material and go to the roughness and you could take this mix and drop that down. Let's put that all the way up for now. All right, so here's our first blemish map and that's looking really good. Let's disable this and work on our second one. So we'll do the exact same thing, put this into our diffuse and uh, it's uh, hard to pick up right now. So let's add a gradient to this one as well and crush this. And if we do that, we can start picking up all these scratches. They're a little bit too big. So let's click on that image texture and click projection again. And let's go to that projection, set it to box, click lock aspect ratio, and then we'll dial this down to 0.05 maybe. And these are a little bit subtle. So let's go to maybe 0.1, see what that looks like. Maybe 0.2. All right, so here are our scratches and we might wanna crank these up even more here since when we put them in the roughness, it'll be a little bit harder to see. So let's dump these in our roughness and see what that looks like. You can see that it's a little bit hard to pick up. Might wanna make these just a little bit bigger, 0.5 so we can pick up those scratches a little bit better. And that's looking pretty good. All right, so we have our two maps here and they are dialed in. Now, how are we going to mix them together? We're going to add them. So we'll uh, search for add and there's a math node called add where you can pipe in two textures and we're gonna pipe in both of these into texture one and then texture two. And the output, we can go to our diffuse if we wanna check that out really quick. It looks pretty intense. Let's just take that uh, straight into our roughness and we'll see what this looks like. All right, so you can see that the number one texture is coming in pretty strong here and the scratches are kind of getting lost. So we could go to that number one texture and just kind of dial that back a little bit. And then what we can do now that they're a little bit more balanced is we can actually go and add another gradient after this add node. So let's add a gradient here and we'll drag it after that add node. And then we can even further crush that in here and dial in what we want. And now you're able to pick up all those scratches and it, they're blending together a lot nicer. All right, so that's looking very good. That is how you would uh, blend two of these different maps together. If this is too strong, like I mentioned, you can go to your final texture, go to the roughness and under mix, you could kind of dial this down a little bit, get it to be a bit more of a subtle effect. But you can see what a uh, huge difference it makes to put a grunge map into your roughness channel. Really dials in that realism. Hope you guys are able to check out Blemish Pro. There's a hundred of these different maps. They're all 8K, they're seamless, and they're 16 bits. So there's a ton of information to play around with. Hope you guys learned something new and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.